Hi, Maria. Hello, Gerardo. How are you, Mario? Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Carlos Calderon. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Bienvenidos. ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo se sienten? How do you feel, Roberto Santos? Hello. How do you feel today, guys? ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? I feel good, teacher. I feel good. Da, na, 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 na. And I wish that I would now. Da, na, 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 na. A lot of, a lot of hot for the water. Uh, we feel good like a sun. <laughs> so you say it's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope that everybody is doing very well. I hope that you guys had an excellent day. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember? ¿Qué se acuerdan de lo que vimos ayer? We were talking about adjectives, nouns, uh, apartments, houses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in this context, do I say, for example, do I say, for example, my house are too small. Is that correct or incorrect? My house is, is incorrect. Is incorrect. Why? Why, Alain? Because uh, it's singular. That's it's my right. house is too my, small. Very good. My house is too small. Okay. Hoy vamos a ponerlos en silencio porque se escucha que están divirtiéndose por ahí. Está bueno, esa es vida. Cuando hay niños en la casa, hay amor, hay gozo. Yo tengo un niño y una niña, tendiendo los tengo ahorita. Tengo do, dos Rogweilers. Yo creo que los niños son los que nos traen como propósito, ¿verdad? Cuando no hay sí. niños es como que solo sentís que ganas dinero, ganas dinero y, y nunca, solo es dinero y no te sentís feliz. Ok. Los voy a poner en silencio para que disfruten los bebés gritando, que saquen el gallo, para que practiquen cantando. <ríe> All right, let's look at, eh, si yo te digo, por ejemplo, my house don't have enough parking space. Is that correct? No, it's not. Is that correct? It's is that, not correct. It's not correct. Why is not correct? Because when you're talking about a house, you're talking about something singular, a third person. So you must use is. Mm, no, my house don't have oh, enough sorry. parking yeah. space. In, in case it does not. Or... Very good. That's right. My house doesn't 
have enough parking space. Good job. My house doesn't have enough parking space. All right. Uh, your homework, your homework, your homework was to write 10 examples. ¿Todos hicieron la tarea? First teacher. Sí? Okay. Okay. So in yesterday's class, we finished this section. Here in this section, you were supposed to give me 10 examples. For example, the book is too heavy. The car is too purple. I feel too safe in my house. Okay, so me van a dar 10 ejemplos. Now, for this activity, for the next activity, we're going to look at knowledge check instructions. Work on the following questions and choose the correct answers. For question one, only you may want to listen to the audio program played on section 3.1 so you can answer it. So you're going to look at number one, two, three, four. I will give you five minutes to work and complete knowledge check, five minutes. Okay. After we will work on this activity as a class together. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this information? Antes que nos vayamos, vamos a tomar la selfie para, la, para pasar asistencia porque sus recursos humanos me las están pidiendo. Ok, vamos a ver. Solo yo no me veo, pero ese ya es así, así ya es negro. Así que, ni modo, solo la sombra se ve ahí. Ahí sí sonrío, ven. Ahí estoy, ven. Ahí estoy. Ok, ready and action. Ok, all right, guys. Vamos a practicar en parejas. Les doy cinco minutos y después chequeamos juntos. Let's go. Llegaron a ustedes. <ríe> Véngase para acá, pues. Bueno. <ríe> Me había quedado solita yo. Oh, no puedo. <ríe> ah, ya, lo, ya lo tienen ustedes ahí. Eso ando buscando. No. Tres, tres punto dos, será. <ríe> Lo he encontrado para que lo comparta. ¿Ya lo encontró? 3.2, aquí está. 3.2, ¿eh? ¿ah? Vale. ¿Ya? Ya. 
¿no? Sí, ahí estamos. Vale, la uno dice, according to the audio, un en section 331. Ajá, a, dice, apartments are too small for pets, are too big for pets, or are big enough for, for pets. The, per, the first, the, the primera, first one. are too small. Are too small for pets. Vamos a ver. Okay. ¿Cómo es su nombre? Este, Ricardo. Aparte de María. Ricardo. <risa> pues, sí. Me acordaba, pero no estaba segura. <risa> no, bueno. <risa> vale, vamos a ver. La segunda, which is correct. Apartments isn't comfortable enough for families. Apartments are too comfortable for families or... Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Apartments aren't comfortable enough. Uh, ¿Y, ¿Y este audio cuál es? Este sí no lo había escuchado de la... Creo que el, que el que nos enseñó ayer el teacher. Uh, donde se ve de la casa y el, los apartamentos. Los apartamentos no son confortables para ninguna familia. No son. Uh, no. Ese, ese no son no son confortables. Será la segunda. Y la segunda sí que sí son confortables para las familias. Ajá. Ajá. Le ponemos aquí la segunda. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Caro. Caro color. Apartments. Aren't comfortable enough for family. ¿Será la tres? Ay, yo tengo duda entre dos. Porque y un apartamento tres. no es muy grande para una familia. Ajá. Entonces, me, no sé si será. Pongamos la tres. Vamos a ver. De todas maneras, sí. tenemos que ver si es correcto o no es correcto. Vale. La tercera dice cuál es correcto. Apartments don't have privacy enough. Apartments, apartments don't have enough privacy or apartments have privacy enough. La dos. La dos. Este Don't have no enough privacy. Va, vamos a ver. La cuatro. Which is correct. Apartments don't have space enough. Apartments don't have enough space. Apartments have space enough. Oh, 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 oh. No, no creo. La dos. Ajá. La dos. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Ah, va. ¿Cómo hey, estamos? Bueno. Vamos a ver. No, hombre, ya está ahí. Salió. Salió bien. Ándale. <ríe> Excelente. <ríe> Excelente. <ríe> y menos mal que le cuesta un poco, dice María. Ay, Ay no, pero... bastante. Ah. Un montón. Ah. No, está. Ahí está. Aquí. ¿Quién compartió la, la, la... Usted compartió la... la... La pantalla, Ricardo. ¿Cómo ah, le hizo? Es que no, a mí no me aparece. Es eh, para compartir. Sí, va, ahí dice compartir. Ajá, pero este tiene va. que tiene que entrar, este, digamos, también tiene que tener abierta la, el, 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 el link de, de donde está el curso. Ajá, sí, eso lo tengo abierto. Va, entonces se va a, a Church. Ajá. Church Screen. Entonces, y ahí ya le da, le da el este Es que, le da es un que yo le doy, le doy compartir, me dice, va a estar a compartir, le doy, ok, va, de ahí solo me sale Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, caja, foto, documento, dirección, sitio web y marcador, nada más. No me sale la, 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 la pantalla, la, la, el screen. No le sale el screen. No me sale. Ayer quise compartirla y no, no pude. ¿Verdad, María? Sí, soy testigo. <risa> sí. Está raro porque tendría que aparecer ahí donde dice eh, este, short screen. Ajá. Tendría que, pero... ¿Y usted lo está viendo en la máquina o, o en celular? El teléfono, teléfono. 
pues tiene que haber ahí algo que diga, tal vez ahí que tenga tres puntitos o algo por el Porque la, la, ahí voy a, voy a, ajá, pero es que la, la vez pasada que el teacher nos dijo, bien cabal me salió, ya voy a ver si, si está en el otro, dijo. Ajá, porque puntitos. la configuración cambia un poco entre... Uh, pero you have, aquí, lo, ajá. aquí lo voy a poner yo, stop share, ahorita dejé yo de compartir. Uh -huh. Entonces, ve ahí este en, la, en el menú que le aparece. Tiene que ver algo de short screen. No, no me eh, sale. Eh, Fotos si puedo compartir eh, o ajá. documento. Ajá, después de participante le aparece algo que dice. Y la cuarta, este, which is correct, eh, está la, la primera, apartments. Don't have space enough. La segunda, apartments don't have enough space. Y la tercera, apartments have space enough. That's right, Miss Janet. That's right. I like that. Thank you very much. All right, guys, let's okay. check it out. We're going to be looking at number one. According to the audio on section 3.1, apartments are too small for pets, are too big for pets, are big enough for pets. What is your answer? A, B, or C? A. 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 Correct. Number two. Which is correct? Sandra, apartment isn't comfortable enough for family. Apartments are no. too comfortable for families. All apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. What is your answer? Uh, apartment aren't comfortable enough for families. Very good. Number three, Janet, which is correct? Apartments don't have privacy enough. Apartments don't have enough privacy or apartments have privacy enough. Apartments don't have enough privacy. Excellent. Number four, Medardo Garcia, which is correct. Apartments don't have enough, don't have space enough. Apartments don't have enough space or apartments have space enough. For me, sería apartment don't have enough space. Very good. That is correct. Good job. Woo! Applause, everybody. Applause, everybody. Good job. All right. Let's look at the following section. Now, for the following section, it says practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or differences. Additionally, learn how to use expressions of quantity like just as, enough, or too much to modify adjectives and nouns. For example, just as comfortable or too few closets. So for this section, what I want us to do is look at the comparisons with the adjectives and the nouns. Listen to the video, please. Listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and 
what do I mean by nouns? Well, we, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there and then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will, then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as. And, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses. Apartments are as spacious as houses. Apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right? as houses. And so remember that this kind of things, you're making comparisons. So maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses. So they cost the same. You know, they are as big as houses. Uh, apartments are as convenient as houses, etc. Usually that's not the case. Usually there are big differences among houses and apartments. But in this case, we're saying that they are the same. What I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons, but this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house. Those are nouns, if you will. And what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, as you can see, apartments is um, our uh, subject there. I'm going to go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen. So apartments, that follows the verb. The verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form. And then we're going to include as or just as, as you can see there. And after that, you will include many plus account now. So I want you to pay attention to that real fast. We're going to have many plus account now. 
And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are those things that you can easily count. If you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non-count nouns, we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count. Or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, again, recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments. And that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can, you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here, such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge. And if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula, right? Like for example, you can say, my house isn't as expensive as my neighbor's house. Or it could be the other way around. For example, you can say my neighbor's house isn't as expensive as my house. At the same time, you also want to make comparisons with nouns. For example, you can say my house doesn't cost as much money as my neighbor's house. Or again, it could be the other way around. You can, you can say, my neighbor's house doesn't cost. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for this activity, what I want everybody to do is you're going to get this vocabulary over here, all of this vocabulary, comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And you are going to be describing this vocabulary, parking space, money, closet space, privacy. So you're going to use this vocabulary to describe these things in your area. And when you are finished, you are going to come over here on this section, right here. And you are going to practice knowledge check 3.5, which is correct. So for this section, you're going to identify the correct answer from the options. You will have five minutes, five minutes to practice in pairs, five minutes to practice in pairs. Are you ready? All right, let's go.
Eh, Sonia puede trabajar en pareja con Mario Escobar. Mario Escobar puede trabajar con eh, Sonia. Ahí están o se fueron. La tres. Bien. <risa> esa es la tercera. En my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Puede ser. Sí, la treba. Sí. sí. Debería de ser porque en la dos no está eh, así este. As. As, as. Uh -huh. Houses are just as okay. The dos, my neighborhood house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't as a big his. It's big as his. Isn't as big as his. La tres o la dos. La tres pensaría yo. La tres es que no es tan grande como la de él. Correcto. Isn't as big as his. Is big as his. As big as his. Es como a big as his. Ay, ay, ay. Es que la dos o la tres. Tendría que ser quizá la, la tres va. La tres. La tres. Sí. Yo la tres. Es. Sí. Ah, no, no, pero, pero, vale, porque dice que eh, eh, en, 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 este, en, el vecin, en, en el en el vecindario las casas generalmente tienen cinco cuartos, ¿va? pero su casa, pero la, o sea, no es tan grande como la de, no tan ah. grande como la de él. Entonces, ¿qué dice usted, Ricardo? La dos. Pero en mi casa. My no, neighbor's la house. La tres, va. Ajá. Yo quiero meter uno la tres también. Es que la casa es más, debe ser más pequeña, me imagino. Ajá. Vale. La tres. I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have as many rooms as houses, don't have many rooms as houses, y don't have as much rooms as houses. Para mí que la 1. No, no la 1. Yo me entiendo la 1. No tiene. Don't have, don't have as many rooms sí. as houses. La 1. Ajá, es la 1. Sí. De hecho está en el, en el. Ajá. Ajá. La 4. My new house doesn't have. Space as my as, old house. As. Pero. Has, has, es, has, don't have. Don't have. Falta algo ahí. Don't have much. Has, don't have much. Don't have as much. As, space. Mucho as espacio. My old house. Don't have as. Don't much have space. Much. Sí. As much, creo yo. As much, exacto. As uh -huh. much. As much. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. That's right. Shake it. 33. ¡Ey, qué bárbaro! Ay, ¡Ey, qué bárbaro, bueno, muchachos! Los vamos a tener que dejar juntos, Juan. Ahí, ¿Qué eh, por favor, <ríe> pidamos. ¿no? Ah, vamos dos de dos, pues, ¿va? ¿Qué más? Ajá, así Ay, es. Va. Así es. Hacemos buen equipo. No, pues sí. Sí. ¿Está? Ahí, ahí se va a ver que repetirla. Unos tres veces. No, no, 
Eh, el chiste es que así viéndolo bien lo hacemos, pero ya que nos digan, nos pregunten así nomás. Que nos pregunten, pues sí. sí. Así nomás, ah. como que ya no, ¿eh? Pregunte, pregunte. Ahí sería no pregunte, no pregunte. No pregunte, no pregunte. Es que finalmente, eh, digamos, la, la gramática no cuesta mucho, realmente es el sticking. Eh. O sea, de uno sí. recortarse de la, la estructura. Ah, a mí me cuesta, no, no sé la verdad. Sí, es que hay muchas palabras que se escriben de una forma y se dicen de otra. Por lo menos, comfortable. Ajá. Se escribe confortable. Uh -huh. Y otro, lo más lógico hubiera sido, va con confortable. <risa> <risa> Pero no es mesa, de. <risa> Se dice comfortable, me imagino, nada que ver pues, cómo se escribe. <risa> sí. Al amarillo le dicen yellow, dice el yellow le dicen ice. <risa> A ver. Así es. Y ese está bueno, ese no me lo podía. <risa> no. Al, al amarillo le dicen hielo, al hielo le dicen ice. Así es. Ya te. ¿Ah? ¿Qué pasa? Vaya, jueves. A ver. ¿Dónde vive usted, Ricardo? Eh, eh, ahí este, en Las Vegas. Oh, en La Pega, ya. Yeah. Sí. ¿Y usted, María? En Las Américas. No, no. En Las Américas. Yo creo que en la en colonia América. vivía, pero no. De verdad, ¿por qué? <risa> Porque me, me parece familiar. Sí, es que eh, en mi juventud viví por ahí. Claro que sí. Ajá. <risa> Igual yo. Ahí en la colonia. ¿sí? Ah, de verdad. Sí. Mire, pues. Mm. ¿Por dónde? A ver si mi vecino era y no me acuerdo. Sí, yo creo que sí. <risa> Ay, imagínese. <risa> ¿Por dónde? Ahí cerca de donde vive su tía. Su tía. ¿Quién? Saludos. La nivel. <risa> sí. Va. Ajá. Vaya. ¿Pero por dónde? Ahí, estaba. <risa> Una cuadra. Dios, Dios santo. Qué chiquito este tapón. Sí. Súper chiquito. Así es. Bueno, nos vemos en la próxima. Ok, ojalá vivamos 3 de 3. Ah, cabal. Sí, ojalá. <risa>
five bedrooms, but my house isn't as big his, is big as his, isn't as big as his. What is your answer? A, B, or C? Z. C is correct. Maria Burgos. Number three. I don't like to live in to an live in apartment because they because they don't don't have as many rooms as house. Very good because they don't have as many rooms as houses. Excellent. And number four, please. Mario. And the, the number four, the word is as much. Very my good. My new house doesn't have as much space as my old house. Perfect. Let's check, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to look at 3.6. Expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communication with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teachers, Jose Sainz, explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. Or I wish I weren't, I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. Let's check it out. Oral comprehension exercise. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents. 
or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever compliment, right? didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could. move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom. After which, where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish. And the subject, again, life. Where easier. Uh, and of course, you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. And the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes. We want to express family wishes. We want to express 
health wishes we want to express professional wishes if you will so I'm just gonna have a series of wishes here right so what kind of wishes do you have about your okay guys now for this activity what you're gonna do right here in this section you're going to look at this right here my bedroom my school or job my appearance my family my possessions my skills van a van a dar una oración por eh, por sección por ejemplo yo te digo una oración con my bedroom y tú decís I wish I had a 60 inch plasma in my bedroom right deseo tener una Plasma de 60 pulgadas en mi dormitorio. My school or job? My school, vamos a decir. I wish I didn't have to go to school. Right, yo deseo que no tuviera que ir a la escuela. So, van a hacer una oración por categoría. In pairs. In pairs. Do you have any questions? Questions, questions? Okay. You will have Five minutes, five minutes. Ready, let's go. Hi Janet, la puse con Daniel y Carlos. Ah, ok. <laughs> Tiene que darle... No sé por qué me sacó. Eh, ah. Tal vez tu internet. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué nadie? Le doy. En, en, en donde el... le doy, teacher. Eh, dale donde dice ingresar a grupo pequeño. Y aquí viene Medardo. Ah, pues trabaja con Medardo mejor. Aquí ah, está okay. Medardo. Ok. ¿Medardo? Sí, sí, diga. Hola, vamos a hola, trabajar. Hola. No me había podido conectar. De verdad. No, a mí me saca de la reunión, no sé, me, me ha costado. I wish I don't, I wish I don't have work a lot. Don't have. O sería tú, lleva el tú. I wish I don't have to work a lot. Eh, sería, no, sería, no, I wish 
not to work much. Y no sería no tener que trabajar mucho. Uh, es que... Ah, uh, también. Pero digamos, si yo, yo, yo deseo no trabajar mucho, entonces sería I wish not to work much. Mm, entonces ahí tendríamos que decir más que todo como yo deseo no tener mucho trabajo. Entonces tendría que ser I wish I don't have too much work. Mm -hmm. Pienso. Sí, también. Uh, I wish I didn't have a lot of work. I didn't. En el pasado uh, sería, ¿verdad? Uh, I didn't. En el pasado. Uh, uh -huh. I didn't have a lot of work. Okay, la tercera. Uh, appearance. What is that? Es apariencia. ¿Ah? Es apariencia. ¿Qué significa? No sé. Vamos a ver. Appearance. Así, apariencia. ¿Apariencia es? Sí. Mm, yo deseo mejorar mi apariencia. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí está. I wish uh -huh. I wish <laughs> I wish I Y este verbo tiene que ir en el pasado. Eh, no. No, ahí tendría que ser futuro. ¿eh? Ajá. Pero por la I wish, que nos dieron. I wish my appearance be better. ¿Cómo lo pone, Ricardo? I wish eh, my appearance. Sería, I wish I have my appearance. Eh, no, entonces, entonces tendría que ser, I wish... I, I wish had porque no le ponemos tener tener mejor appearance. Ajá, mejor que mejor aparecería así. I wish had a better appearance. I wish I had better appearance. I had. Ajá. Ajá. Desearía, ajá, desearía tener una mejor apariencia. I wish I, I, wish I, better I have a better, better I have a we better appearance. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Appearance. Appearance. <laughs> Primera vez que la oigo, fíjense. Appearance. Yeah. Appearance. Okay. My family. Una familia más grande. Desearía tener una familia más grande. Ajá. I wish I had. I had otra a vez. A big. A big family. Big family. Ajá. A big family. De yo. Y puede agarrar trabajo o escuela. Ah, cualquiera de los dos. ¿Cómo? Sí, 
¿Qué pasó, mamá? All right, guys. Time's up. Time's up. At this moment, do you have any questions about this information? Questions, questions? No. Nobody? I wish I have a question, but no. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl that looked good. I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat, a six foot parlor. <laughs> That's an old so That's an old school song. Es de mi época cuando yo era bicho allá en Houston. All right, guys. Sí, cuando caminaban los dinosaurios. Hi, ¿quién dijo, teacher? I have a question. Uh, Gerardo. Gerardo, what's going on? Talk to me, brother. Uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, when we use the auxiliary didn't, uh, the bear can we write in past or in present? Uh, no, present. in that case, the verb is in the base form. I wish, that's right. I wish I didn't have to go to school. I wish okay. I didn't have to pay taxes. Have to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I wish I, in my case, I wish I weren't so black. <laughs> uh, I wish I... Yeah, brother. Sorry, man. Me cocinó mucho, Diosito. Daniel. No la puedo creer. Levantó la mano Daniel Martínez. No. Ok. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Enjoy your evening. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.